Breaking news, Nigerians. Lagos State House of Assembly moves to revise property and titles of non yoruba indigents. <laughs> this will bring the end of Nigeria, honestly speaking. You are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, the speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mogesheru Obasa, announced on Tuesday that the state would pass laws to safeguard Yoruba indigents in the state. The speaker, according to Yoruba Times Com, said the 10th Assembly's legislative agenda would include laws and resolutions in the areas of economy and commerce property and titles, and the reverse of all that are reversible to protect the interests of the indigents. Obarsa, who was elected Speaker of the Assembly for a third consultative term, hinted at some of the controversies in the build-up to the 2023 elections, including the argument that non-indigents want to take over the state, declared that Lagos is a Yoruba land. He said, Lagos is a Yoruba land as against the assumptions of some people that is a non-man's land. Therefore, part of our legislative agenda is to ensure the translation of laws passed by this house to the Yoruba language. We also aim of achieving our collective goals of creating a robust legislative lawmaker, a framework that protects the interests of our people. Going forward in, in this wise, we are going to employ all legislative instruments for the support of the indigents of Lagos. There will be laws and resolutions on the areas of economy and commerce property and titles, and we will reverse all that are reversible to protect the interests of the indigents, Obasa said in his acceptance speech after he was unanimously elected as Speaker of the Assembly. Nigerians, you've all heard it now. The Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Madashiru Obasa, announced on Tuesday that the state would pass laws to safeguard the Yoruba indigents in the state. The speaker, according to Yoruba Times Com, said the 10th Assembly's legislative agenda would include laws and resolutions in the areas of economy and commerce, property and titles, and reverse of all that are reversible to protect the interests of the indigents. Obasa, who was elected Speaker of the Assembly for a third consultative term, hinted at some of the controversies in the build-up to the 2023 elections, including the argument that non-indigents wanted to take over the state, declared that Lagos is a Yoruba land. He said Lagos is a Yoruba land as against the assumptions of some people that it is a no-man's land. Therefore, part of our legislative agenda is to ensure the translation of laws passed by this House to a Yoruba language. We also aim at achieving our collective goals of creating a robust legislative framework that protects the interests of our people. Going forward in, in this wise, we are going to employ all legislative instruments for the support of the indigents of Lagos. There would be laws and resolutions in the areas of economy and commerce, property and titles, and we will reverse all that are reversible to protect the interests of the indigents. Obasa said in his acceptance speech, after he was unanimously as elected as Speaker of the Assembly. 
I cry and I pray for this country, Nigeria. Once people begin to play God, things will start to backfire. Just mark my words. Dollars would never see it coming until it starts happening, but may, may, may be too late then. And uh, people will soon find out that Igbo's blessings are neither by their power, nor by their might, nor their making, advice for soft, softly, softly trending, if what I just read is true. This is a very good step. Also make sure the Yorubas are buying fuel for 100 Naira. Make sure Yorubas don't pay house rents in Lagos or pay medical bees. One thing is sure, the, the stone that the builder refuse will always be the keep corner stone. Check how God is fighting for the set of people that has been hated since the beginning of this country. Only the wise will learn. Hmm. Useless people. Shebi is no man's land. Let's see who owns the land now. Useless Igbo people. Saying, Bini own Lagos. Go and call Edo people now. Let them come and rescue you now. Okay, guys. These are some reactions from Nigerians. Well, I don't even understand revise all that's revisable and stand to pay up debt that are payable for, I don't understand. But we should not do something that we will regret last, last. Nigeria is one. If you ask Femi, uh, Femi, Femi Kayode, I be Femi Fani Kayode, whatever, how the name is being pronounced, how did he get that news or that information that some persons are saying Lagos is no man's land and for that reason, the uh, uh, Igbo people wants to take over Lagos if they uh, 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 vote for Baribo Rose Viva, the Labour Party candidate, uh, the Labour Party governorship candidate. See, now like this, now it till they start. Make we not start dance when we not feel end. Nigeria remains one. You understand? Don't do anything that we affect another person just because they are not from your land. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.